have money for Starbucks. Maybe this winter is part of it. To get Starbucks. This is the version 9. Alright, so first thing you notice is the uh, home link guy is on the right now instead of left. Also the Wi-Fi guy and the Bluetooth. Easy entry is not in the middle anymore. And uh, this guy is still in the same place. Let's see. Still the same version 9.0. Ooh. Okay, so this is cool. We can we can go into this. Uh, the only difference here is Atari. Now you can play Atari game in your Tesla. <laughs> Look at this. It has 25 cents push to eject mission command. Who thought? Oh, it, what is this? Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, okay. I wonder if you can use the screen. Oh man, you can't even use a. Nice, nice. Okay, this is mission command asteroid. It takes a long time to load. Player one, click on start. So, oh, yes, I got it. Okay, you know that game, Luna Lander. Oh, I'm guessing landing that guy somewhere here. You get more points if you go at 2x, 5x. Okay. Next game, Centipede. I wish they have that um, commander, the space commander, that uh, that little guy look like a flies, but it's like a spaceship. And it, is this this one? No, it's not this one. But you shoot the spaceship down. Oh, we can do full screen. Nice. Triple tap to get out. You got the weather on the left now instead of right. Uh, the time is on the left also. And you still have the lock button. This is really cool to have this lock button here. It's basically lock, trunk, trunk, and all the doors. Okay, so we have car mode. Okay, so lights. It now has auto high beam, headlight after exit, and then steering wheel lights. Steering wheel. <gasps> nice, nice. So if you turn this on, you can see the light on your steering wheel. The left and right actually turns on. I don't need that because I actually know where everything is. Walk away door lock. That's cool. That's a cool feature to have. When you walk away, the door will lock. How it knows is that the phone connected to Bluetooth. And I'm assuming it's somehow connected to GPS location also. But Bluetooth should be the primary technology for this to work. I always surprise because I usually always ring what do you call it uh, beep beep the car when I walk out so that I know that it's locked and the Tesla doesn't do that the only uh, way I could tell that it's locked is from the phone and from the ears the side mirrors folding in when I lock it so I just noticed this features lock confirmation sound I'm gonna check so that unlock anyway. on park this is for security reasons so I'm gonna uncheck it so let's say when you suddenly stop by someone someone who means harm to you and then you your car is set to park somehow because you're like oh what's what's going on what's the problem you set the car to park the door automatically unlock we don't want that from the inside I can unlock the door easily by pressing on the button on the door handle or if you want someone from the outside to come in easily you can just unlock it using the lock button on the top left lane departure warning obstacle aware aware acceleration obstacle aware acceleration automatically limits your acceleration if an obstacle is detected in front of your vehicle while driving at low speed that's good to have navigation this is new also this is to control the volume that is announced at you when when it's navigating uh, trip planner at stops at supercharger if charging is needed to reach your destination that's good to have online routing generate optimal routes and takes real-time traffic condition into account while navigating though no, that's good to have reroute if it saves more than 10 minutes that's cool avoid ferries avoid tow that's the only thing we don't have ferries here so I don't have to worry about it safety and security park assist chimes that's cool that's new security alarms Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna turn it on because it sounds like if someone breaks in or something, it will, will it will alarm. I don't know why it's off in the first place. Cabin overheat protection, nice. Cabin overheat protection maintain cabins under 105 Fahrenheit or 50 or 40 degrees Celsius while parked for a period of up to 12 hours after you exit the vehicle. No AC mode consume less energy, but temperature may exceed 105 degree Fahrenheit. Cabin overheat protection does not operate when the battery reaches 20% or less. That's good to know. Very smart. Of course I want it on. Oh, allow mobile access. <gasps> this is cool. This allow mobile access will allow your mobile to control your car. For example, sending direction data to the car or control the music from uh, the phone itself. Data sharing. We are working hard to improve autonomous safety features and now we are at service 
it's the same thing. That's factory reset. That's different. That's new. I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's go to music. Ooh, music has changed. They have a USB device right away that you can see. Uh, I'm going to go change. Ooh, let's go here. Yes, yes. It has a different mode now. Nice. Very nice. You can sort by artist, album, genre, and photos. So this is my USB thing. I want to switch to a different kind of streaming service. So let's see if I can find... Oh, nice, nice. Before it was just a button, and then it will have a drop-down menu to choose between radio, streamline, ah, phone, tune-in, and USB, or any music. Basically, it's the same thing, but different interface. It kept my settings, so that's good. Balance is still the same. Okay, here, DJ commentary. Why not? Oh, no, I don't care for that. Explicit content. No, thank you. No. Allow mobile control. Allow mobile access must be enabled in safety and security. So a different kind of interface. I like it even more because now you have the tap on the bottom rather than clicking on a button and then spend it. You have tap control. Makes it easier when you're driving. We have this new arrow up button for the version 9. We have calendar. Oh, I, I think I'm going to like calendar. To view your calendar, turn on remote access below. I'm going to try to turn on. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. I can see my calendar here. Calendar not updating? Mm. Uh, show calendar upon entry. Morning. Morning and evening. Always. I'm going to stick with morning. Just, just to make it so that it doesn't, it's not that intrusive. Energy. This is new. Consumption versus trips. Alright, so 50 miles. This is 30 mile range. You have this graph here that you can look at. Instant range or average range. Ooh, nice, nice. I actually don't know how to read graphs, so I'm just pretending to like it. Web, who finally has a website. Whew. Let's go to my website. Let's see how my website works. Nice. Yeah. It doesn't let me use, basically, I can't watch YouTube from here. What's the point? I think they don't want us to watch YouTube because one, it's not safe to drive and watch at the same time. And two, we're paying $50 a year. I don't think they will be nice enough to let us watch YouTube and use all their bandwidth. If I can't watch YouTube, what can I do? Can I listen to music? Let's go to SoundCloud. That would be cool if they let us listen to music from the web. Let's try Drip Too Hard. Would it let me play? Okay, okay. Please let me play. Okay, so for YouTube and SoundCloud, that's not an option. From here, you can actually choose your review camera. We have this fan here. They update this thing. Before it was two knobs, yeah. but now you can actually see it's happening. Oh yeah. Before it's like this, you have this, this two dots up here, but bigger. I think I like it so far. I kind of don't want, to, uh, there's no way to reset it. So this tab, okay, they have the tab bigger now. The whole thing is it. We have heat for all five. The graphic is bigger, that's good because for a 15 inch screen, you want everything to be big so that you, when you're driving, you can click it easily. So all off. All right, so they combine the passenger and the driver in one place. So I'm gonna change not? it to 72 degree in here. It might be hot, so I'm gonna go with 65. And then I uncheck the sink, so now it has two. So for her and for uh -huh. me. You guys noticed that the truck next to me, it, it told another kind of RV and it recognizes it as a big 18 wheelers, like a big bus. That's cool. So that's a new update for the version 9. I want to know if it actually senses the car behind us. That would truly make it 360. Ooh, it does senses the car behind us. Okay, so now we're going to test out the map. The map has been improved also. We're going to go to Best Buy. Navigate to Best Buy on North Academy. Move this music down. Drive west on East Wooden Road for 2.6 miles. Let's say declines. Oh, okay, I just declined it and it still works. That's good. I'm gonna press on this north button. Will realign me. Okay, so we noticed the update have the uh, the list, the direction list on the left now instead of on the right. Oh, so the thing that I declined. I won't have access to the traffic data. Right. Let's click on this settings icon. The settings icon is just a navigation panel. I'm going to check online routing. I'm going to accept it this time. Now turn right onto North Union Boulevard. It took traffic into account and want us to go uh, turn right right now after I check that checkbox. Stop navigation. 
that's it for the maps and the 360 cameras on the car. So now we're gonna do a drive. <laughs> 